So this would be some of my tips for drawing pictures in Illustrator. Um, there's a lot of reasons why you want to do vector drawings rather than um, pixel-based drawings because you can resize vectors um, to any size you want to and they'll pretty much always stay crisp. And so um, I like to illustrate a lot in, uh, in Illustrator. And so what um, I've done here is I've grabbed the brush tool. So the shortcut for that is B. Um, and with the brush tool, the great thing is it automatically smooths your line. So even if you're a little bit bumpy, see how it smoothed that automatically? And so that's one of the great features about the brush tool. Otherwise, if you use the pencil, it tends to stay rather jagged looking. And so um, I do like to use the brush. And so for example, let's say you're just drawing an illustrator and you're kind of, you know, doing it sketchy. Like let's say, let's say I'm gonna draw a little teddy bear. It's not gonna look that perfect, but this is just an example. I'm not even sure what that little, let me just redo that. Okay, so basically I've sketched out this drawing of a teddy bear. And the problem with this, with doing it this way is that let's say now I wanna fill in these areas with color. Um, they're not closed past, so let me just show you what happens when you do that. See what happened? Um, it's filling in, for example, this line right here that's gonna, only gonna fill where these vector points are. And so that's a bit of an issue. So I'm gonna undo this. And so um, when I draw like this in Illustrator, I'm actually gonna change the stroke to um, a basic one, bring it up a couple. And so what you can do instead is actually, so now I'm gonna use the blob brush tool, select brown, and the blob brush tool lets you draw, do whatever, um, and it'll actually basically melt all this stuff together so that it's one, uh, so that it's one object. Um, but I like to use the blob brush tool kinda like you're coloring this in. And so I wouldn't recommend this method if you're gonna be doing a lot of these images on one page um, because you're gonna have so many vectors that it's really gonna mess up your um, file size and make it really large. Um, this works really well though if like you're gonna bring these over to Photoshop or you're just gonna do this one image here and then just use you know this graphic. So what you can do is fill this in, make this a little bigger. And the blob brush tool seemed to change a little bit with the Creative Suite 2014 release of um, Illustrator where before all these would be connected it just automatically did it and it's not doing that anymore which is kind of annoying so I don't know if it's just a setting I need to set in here or what um, that could be it but um, I believe these are all going to be separate um, uh, things and if it is that way then um, it is so I'm just going to select all these. Um, and then use Pathfinder, um, which is just gonna, and I'm gonna unite them all. So I just want one image. And then if you send this back, so that's gonna actually be command and then your left bracket um, key. So see, you've been able to color this in and um, not mess with trying to fill in these little partial vector lines. Um, and then a great tip too, if you color out of bounds basically, is I'm gonna zoom up on this and see how I've not colored very perfectly. Well, if you grab the eraser tool, and then the way the eraser tool works is that you actually have to select this item. And then if you go back to your eraser tool, you can del you can basically delete or erase what you selected. So right now it looks like I'm erasing this black line, yeah. Yeah. but I'm not. I only erase the brown um, object, which is selected. So that's actually one of the greatest things about using the eraser tool in um, Illustrator is that it doesn't let it doesn't just erase everything you know like if it was in Photoshop, um, so it actually doesn't take that long just to like you know touch this up a little bit, um, so it's actually not too big of a deal if you color out of the lines, and so that's just my tip for um, doing drawings um, in Illustrator. So thanks so much for listening.